A Yank at Oxford is a pretty delightful film. I didn't think it was perfect, but it was one that I thought was pretty good fun. This was released in 1938, directed by Jack Conway, and stars Robert Taylor as Lee Sheridan and Vivian Lee as Elsa Craddock. And this is about an American, our titular character, the Yank, who is aristocratic and he travels from America to England where he studies at Oxford University. And first of all, that gives us some very interesting dynamics. The reception from his apparent peers at Oxford is mixed. It's interesting. There's a lot of poking fun at him. There's a beautiful bit, though, where they all sing Over There, which is one of my favourite songs from George M. Cohan. In fact, one of my favourite songs ever. I just absolutely love it. So th the soundtrack for this definitely made my heart sing. But... Not only is his reception, um, or the reception he receives, very unique, uh, very different, um, but also his attitudes towards things you can tell are quite different as well. And it's a very interesting dynamic between him as the protagonist um, and everybody else. And of course, although he is the protagonist, he is the one we're supposed to kind of side with and follow. He has obviously very different perceptions to a lot of what's happening. And me watching it as a British person... The way he does things are very different. So it's a very unique experience to watch an American protagonist in a British setting where I'm supposed to follow through the American's eyes, but I am a British person, if that makes sense. I think opinions of this film may differ depending on which angle you're coming from. But either way, I think opinions would be quite interesting. I'm also a big fan of Oxbridge as a concept. I know that that opinion is not that popular these days, but I, I do like, certainly in the 1930s, certainly your more classic view of Oxbridge. Definitely today, it's not quite what it used to be. But when we see him running in his robes, um, you know, actually like doing track running in robes and things, it's a very interesting um, visual film and something that I found to be quite delightful. And visually, I found it to be absolutely beautiful. The scenery was gorgeous. The architecture of inside the schools were great. Um... Or it was great, rather. I'm not 100% sure where they filmed. All I know is that they filmed at Denham Studios in Buckinghamshire. So I'm not sure if they filmed much or any of it at Oxford. If anybody does know, please feel free to let me know. I imagine some bits at least would have been filmed at the school. And there's obviously a romantic element there as well. We have, um, which is, to me, the subplot. And I find it quite interesting. Its development is a little predictable, but certainly enjoyable to watch. I didn't find that it was a drag or, you know, taking away from the main interest, which for me was the American in Oxford and how he coped and what it was like. But because he's an American aristocrat, he kind of fits into that world anyway. Had he been your average everyday American who had perhaps won a scholarship to study at Oxford was coming over for that his experience and his perception and his views would have been radically different and it would have been a completely different film let's face it i think at times lee sheridan is not a likable character intentionally so but for the most part i found him very easy to get on with i found him quite cheeky i, find, I think he had a very positive outlook and a positive attitude towards things not that everything is all positive and plain sailing but i found him very easy to get on with a yank at oxford on paper is a film that could could have been written for me it ticks all of the boxes with what i'm looking for and thankfully the execution was pretty great i'm not saying it was perfect there were some scenes that maybe weren't quite paced the way i would have wanted but generally speaking a yank at oxford is an absolute delight and, and one that i am very happy to recommend